recording it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have reached the Benton County Attorney's Office. Our hours are 8 to 30, Monday through Friday. Please leave a detailed message after the tone, and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. I'll record your message at the tone. When you're finished, hang up or stay on the line for further options. Hi, this is Heather Swantek calling Philip Miller, the county attorney. It is June 3rd, a Wednesday, right around uh, 1230 today. I'm calling because I would really appreciate, it, it, in reference to the case 05CR15998, um, I'm looking for all my evidence from that. I'm not going to accept waiting until the next hearing. I understand it can be e-filed quite simply and emailed to me in PDF format. Also, I would like my uh, trooper dash cam and video that I've been asking for for months in the original case that was dismissed, 73-CR-14-9669. Um, any other evidence you have, I want to email to me today. Also, I would also like to be um, given the dash cam from the stuff that happened uh, May 30th by the uh, Orono Police Department at the time of my arrest on this malicious warrant you sent out. I am aware you have my phone number, my email address, my mailing address, my work address. There was really no reason to just do a body-only warrant unless you were trying to maybe have my job fire me because of, I don't know, retaliation or something. Um, it just wasn't necessary. So if you could email me that information, which I know you already have because I was, in, I was already in contact with uh, the original case and I was using my email to do so. Plus, they had my mailing address. So the warrant could have been sent out that way. I just, just to get that clear, you did have an address, a couple of them. Um, feel free to please email me my, my electronic data, all the evidence you've got today, not the next hearing. How am I supposed to um, you know, get ready for the next hearing if I don't have the evidence that you have? You can be emailed to me at hswantech. H-S-W-A-N-T-E-K at gmail.com. That's hswantech at gmail.com. The address you guys already have. Phone number 612-702-815. Hi, um, Philip Miller. Is he available, please? Why don't you give me his voicemail then? Heather Swantek. Jesse, are you calling about the discovery? Uh, yeah, but I need something else added to that too, and I'd rather have it on recording so he can't say he didn't get it. Okay, because I think within 15 minutes or so you should be getting the discovery. What else did you need? Oh, you want to leave a voicemail for him? Yeah, I do. Hi. Hi, Mr. Miller. It's Heather Swantek calling you back. Um, I did say I did say that I wanted that trooper dash cam and what have you, but I also wanted to let you know that I also appreciate the canine video from the original stop back in uh, November 8th, 2013, or 14, I'm sorry, when I was originally stopped and charged with this offense. Um, I'm sure I won't get it. I, I don't have any confidence whatsoever that you guys will turn anything over that I want, but... Uh, um, I am putting it on record that I want it. I do understand that you're supposed to be um, sending me my discovery in about 15 minutes. Um, hopefully it has everything on there I've requested. Um, but yeah, canine video from that original stop, 73-CR-14-9669. Would be wonderful. Thanks a lot and you have a great day. hswantek at gmail.com. Exactly. 
You have reached the Benton County Attorney's Office. Our hours are 8 to 430, Monday through Friday. Please leave a detailed message after the tone and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. I'll record your message at the tone. When you're finished, hang up or stay on the line for further options. Hello, Mr. Miller. It's Heather Swantek calling you back. Uh, I've seen what you sent me, but I don't see anything on there <laughs> concerning any audio or video recording from the dash cam or canine. There should be three of them. It should be one from Orono. There should be one from uh, the state trooper. And there should also be one from the canine, from the uh, St. Cloud canine, from the original stop. Um, confused. Does it not exist? Was the camera not working? If the camera wasn't working, was there a fix-it ticket done that you guys fixed it? Or did it, you guys smash it with a hammer to make it disappear? Where is it? I want to know where it is. It's my evidence. If you got it, I need it. If you don't got it, why not? So give me a call back. Or you can email me, hswantech at gmail.com. Otherwise, it's 612-702. Please reach the Benton County Attorney's Office. Our hours are 8 to 4.30, Monday through Friday. Please leave a detailed message after the tone, and someone will return your call as soon as possible. Thank you. I'll record your message at the tone. When you're finished, hang up or stay on the line for further options. Well, hello, Mr. Miller. This is Heather Swantek calling on June 4th. Um, I believe my uh, court next court date is the 9th, so that's five days away. And we got a couple days that are a weekend in there. I'm just kind of wondering, where's my state patrol trooper dash cam video? Where is my Orono Police Department dash cam video? Where's my St. Cloud K9 dash cam video? Why did you email some PDF files and not email me a link to your file share account so I could download my dash cam videos? Did the K9 officer engage in an illegal search? Is that why you are illegally withholding that video? Does the trooper video mention the illegal K9 search in his video? Is that why the trooper's video is being illegally withheld? Does the Orono dash cam video show a male officer groping a female rape survivor who asked for a female officer to do the frisk for your bogus warrant? By the way, why don't you want to talk to me on the phone? Every time I call with my regular phone, you let it go to voicemail, don't you? And when I call with a different phone, I'm able to speak with your staff, aren't I? Weird. Why is that? Is that another form of obstruction of justice? Did you take a hammer to all my videos? Even though you have all that state-of-the-art technology in your office, I'm still getting the same old obstruction of justice, aren't I? Is this retaliation on your part? So I'd appreciate you email me my information or, you know, grow some and call me and tell me what the hell's going on and why you decided to you know, totally waste public funds on some bogus crap that's not helping anybody, but trying to ruin my life. My number, 612, I'm sure you know it by now, because I'm sure you're, you know, you got all my numbers, 612-702-8152. I see, I got to tell you the damn case number again, 0505-CR-15-998. I believe the original case number was 73-CR-14-9669. You know, one of them that was dismissed and you guys got all butt hurt and had to basically recharge me as auto retaliation, total misuse of public funds. I'm not sure what you're trying to prove here other than, I guess, I don't know, show that you still aren't going to show me anything as far as my evidence goes. You'll withhold whatever. But guess what? I got some evidence of my own. So why don't we, why don't you just give me a call and see what you can do with that? Thanks a lot. You know my my email as well, hswantek at gmail.com. Phone number, I'll give it to you one more time. I don't expect a phone call back. I don't expect any evidence either because you guys cannot be trusted to do anything that you don't want to do. 612-702-8152. I'm just trying to get on with my life, man. So you know, maybe we can get on this thing here. All right. Have a great day. Bye.
this is Heather Swantek calling you on June 7th, 2015. I'm asking, I want to know why you're illegally withholding my non-public jail data by making me provide ID when the county attorney Miller sent me non-public data discovery in PDF format by email. Are you in violation of the data privacy laws or is county attorney Miller? Actually, both of you are in violation of the law, aren't you? Didn't county attorney Miller confirm the email address that he used to send me some but not all of my discovery? However, Miller willfully refuses to email me my dash cam video for the state trooper, though, doesn't he? Of course, I still haven't gotten the canine video or the Orono video either, have I? The discovery clearly states in an April 8, 2015 letter from Lieutenant Salto, number 28, Minnesota State Patrol, that the trooper squad video was in Benton County's possession at that time, doesn't it? Which means the illegally withheld dash cam video was in the county's possession at the time of my malicious false imprisonment on May 30th, 2015, doesn't it? which means the illegally withheld dash cam video was in the county's possession at the time of your malicious hold, now doesn't it? Which means the illegal, illegally withheld dash cam video was in the county's possession and at that time of my malicious June 1st, 2015 bail hearing, doesn't it? Which means the Button County was in possession of my contact information prior to use issuing the malicious warrant, now doesn't it? Why are you trying to rip me off for $258 for free electronic data? The Lexapro website clearly proves that you received a copy of your policy and procedure manual and custody manual for the Benton County Sheriff's Department in PDF format, doesn't it? So why are you trying to charge me for paper copies when you possess free electronic data, huh? Or yeah. Oh yeah, you must, her, you just, mu oh yeah, just more harassment and intimidation, right? You're denying me my justice by delaying my free electronic data, aren't you? This is your state-of-the-art obstruction of justice, isn't it? I want my free electronic data emailed me to immediately. Heather Swantek, 612-702-8152, which you already have. Email address, hswantek at gmail.com, which you've already had for months. Thanks a lot, and you have a great weekend.